offended by this? <laughs> Are you going to look at him and emasculate him? Are you going to look at him and be yeah. like, why are you offended? Grow up. Exactly. Are you going to look at him and be like, oh, okay, well, you know what? You're right. She shouldn't have did it. Just talk to her about it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people don't like those things, even on those lower levels, even though it's not something that serious, it still matters because everything is feeling the same deep. Yep. I feel like everybody just needs to have conversation. That's really what it is. <clears throat> so yeah. <laughs> what, what should men and women be expecting or how should they conduct themselves nowadays? And that kind of ties into what we were just talking about. But um, for me, from what I'm going to add to this, I'm going to say that men should shed the negative traits that were beat into them, whether it's literal or not, um, from the boys don't cry attitudes because they are not only harmful to the self, but effectively clog clog relationships and stop them from happening, which is a big problem. Um, and this doesn't mean to go overboard, you know, and start being whiny, wimpy mess, unless that's actually who you are. <laughs> like, if that's who you are, <laughs> you know, yeah, be you. then be you. But don't just start trying to do the exact opposite, you know, of trying to be whatever you weren't allowed to be. You know, you know what I'm saying? So pretty much it means to stop being afraid to show your true colors because the way everything is going, you need to be able to connect to your fellow human be being. And um, this is open. So I, I think that everybody should leave their note in terms of what they'd like to say to the generations. Because we do have a wide range. We have um, literally preteens all the way up to people in their 40s that listen to us regularly. So um, I try to affect the millennials nowadays because, you know, the baby boomers are dying out. So right. that's the main reason right. why we do this show. We do this show so that we can talk to those people, you know, right there at the at, right there where their parents aren't really at a point to give them what they need or maybe they are, but they don't know how, you know, so we're a good influence. And again, this is where we should come from with it. So here are final notes for you guys. And then I think we're going to sign out. <laughs> well, I just want to agree with what you said. Sorry. I just wanted to agree with what you said as far as um, everybody just needs to know who they are. If you are if you want to be a stay-at-home mom, be that. Don't let society make you feel any type of way. Don't let your mother, who, you know, raised you by herself, make you feel any type of way because her perspective and yours are two totally different things. Mm -hmm. And if you if you want to be a stay-at-home father, do that. Mm -hmm. Do what do what feels right for you. If you want to be the woman that climbs the corporate ladder, by all means, Go ahead and don't make, let anybody make you feel some type of way about doing what it is that you want to do, being who you naturally are. But I think it's important that everybody know who they are and feel free and comfortable enough to explore those options. Because you don't really know until you kind of touch the water. So, you know, be comfortable. Go explore those options. Find out what you really are, who you really are, why you really are, and then do those things. And when you're doing those things, you'll meet somebody who compliments you. And that's when all of that starts tying in. But until then, just focus on what makes you happy and focus on it so much that it makes you happy regardless of how it makes anybody else feel, no matter how close they are to you or how distant they are to you. That's all I had to say. Thank you, Nefilabata. Um, for me, I, I would definitely agree with both of you. Um, knowing self is extremely important, especially at this day and age when a lot of people are hopping on the same bandwagon and it's not even stuff that makes sense. Um, I would say for all of my, you know, single people out there, know who you are. Learn every day who you are. Don't be stuck in your ways. Don't feel like you've learned everything. Don't feel like you've learned everything about yourself. Like, definitely be open-minded and experience new things. Um, for people in relationships, don't walk into a relationship with role, not, not role playing, but like gender roles already set. Like everybody can bring something to the table. It's not, oh, you man, you do this, or you're a woman, you do this. No, just do what works for you guys because at the end of the day, the outside world is not benefiting from your relationship whatsoever. You mm -hmm. guys are. So, and pride <laughs> I would just say we I think a lot of we need to have less pride and more acceptance and more just human compassion for mm -hmm. for everybody and everything that's going on outside of us because we are not the world like there are a bunch of other people in it that created so 
Thank you, Lena. Duncan that was awesome. <laughs> I appreciate you. you. So um, I'd like to sign off here. Um, my name is Amir Appleseed. Um, this is Welsh Rise and Associates. Lena Duncan is her own entity, but we may be linking up some more later down on the line. We shall see. Um, make sure you check us out at hashtag Welsh Rise, W-E-L-S-H-R-I-G-H-Z in Google or any major uh, social media search engine. You'll find us. So thank you. And we are out.